Hi everyone, it's Matthew here. I'm in front of the University of Bolton Stadium and it is the home of Bolton Wanderers, my hometown club. And for the past three years, between February 2015 and April 2018, I spent my time recreating that in Minecraft. So I'm now really happy to be able to give you a tour and hope you enjoy, smash it a like and yeah, enjoy the video. Yes, of course, this is the University of Bolton Stadium, home of Bolton Wanderers since September 1997, when it replaced Burnham Park. Plans for the stadium were initially conceived as a direct response to the implementation of the Taylor Report filed after the Hillsborough disaster, which enforced mandatory seating for stadia in the first and second divisions of English football. Despite the proposal resonating with the club due to the 1946 disaster at Burnham Park, in which 33 lives were lost, it was not thought that the ground would be sustainable in the long term. As a result, a new ground was sought after, with the eventual site being chosen at Middlebrook, four miles away from Bolton Town Centre, while architectural firm Populous, then known as HOK Sport, were drafted in to design the stadium, which needed to meet the club's ambition to create a landmark structure. Through the inspiration provided by Huddersfield's John Smith Stadium, which opened in 1994, the stadium would gain its distinctive roof line with the sweeping steel support structures, providing an aesthetically pleasing visual while also removing the need for any stanchions. This space age design was relatively unique but would set the stadium apart from other stadia being built around the same time while also meeting the design criteria. The seating design was in some ways a hybrid construction, with a continuous bowl form in the lower tier while each upper tier would be separate. Initially, the stadium was to be named New Burnham Park after Wanderers' previous home. However, eventually the naming rights to the stadium were sold to Bolton-based sports firm Reebok, thus continuing a partnership which had initially begun in 1990. In all, the partnership between the two, which comprised of the naming rights, kit manufacturing and shirt sponsorship, would continue through to 2012, while the naming rights would end in 2014. This is also the longest sports partnership in English football history. After a 15-month building period between June 1996 and September 1997 and completed at a cost of £25 million, the newly christened Reebok Stadium, which was opened by then Deputy Prime Minister John Prescott, hosted its first Bolton Wanderers game when they hosted Everton in the Premier League in a game attended by a crowd of 23,131. The final result was a nil-nil draw, however this game is also notable for featuring the goal that never was, as Jerry Taggart's header for Wanderers was wrongly ruled out despite having clearly crossed the line. The first goal at the ground would eventually be a penalty scored by Alan Thompson against Tottenham Hotspur three weeks later. The stadium was also the recipient of a comm commendation in 1998 as part of the Structural Steel Design Awards. Over the years, it has seen everything from the Premier League glory years and European adventures under Sam Allardyce to the down days of League One. The name has also changed since too, first becoming the Macron Stadium in 2014 as part of a four-year deal encompassing the naming rights as well as kit manufacturing, and then most recently becoming the University of Bolton Stadium in August 2018 in a long-term deal. The stadium can be considered to be a multi-purpose venue, with the Bolton Whites Hotel opening within the South Stand in 2000, allowing events of many kinds to be held, the largest of which generally take place in the Premier Suite, located in the Nat Lofthouse Stand. Initially, Reebok's headquarters were located in the North Stand, but the space is now occupied by the law firm Keogs. All of the inner workings of the stadium, such as player and administrative areas, are located in the West Stand, the most recent addition to the site is the bronze statue of the Lion of Vienna, Nat Lofthouse, who also has the stand named after him, Bolton's greatest ever player. The capacity of the stadium is 28,723, but it has never truly sold out over the years, with the highest attendance being 28,353 in a Premier League fixture against Leicester City on December 28, 2003. Away fans are located in the south stand with a maximum allocation of 5,000, however this can change depending on demand. As well as football, the stadium has also played host to numerous rugby matches, 
with the most recent of these being the Challenge Cup semi-finals, while the stadium was also slated to host matches during the Rugby League World Cup in 2021. A number of concerts have also been hosted at the stadium, featuring artists such as Oasis, Pink, Elton John, Coldplay, The Killers, Little Mix and most recently Rod Stewart. In fact, the music video for Coldplay's 2005 single Fix You was partially filmed during their concert at the stadium. Work on the stadium in Minecraft started back in February 2015, with the initial setup of the West Stand being built before work was halted until June, when work finally got underway properly. Within a month, the pitch had been completed along with the goals and the lower tier had been completed as well. The roof was also completed by the end of July. Work progressed relatively quickly through the rest of the year and by the new year, most of the exterior along with the support structure and floodlights was in place, while work was now underway on interior areas such as hospitality suites and the pitch side hotel rooms. After going for 18 months, issue 3, Disaster struck in October 2016 after a data transfer over to my new Xbox went wrong and four months worth of work was erased. At this stage I strongly considered giving up and so I replaced the North Stand mural and stopped working on it until January 2017. By the end of January the floodlights had been replaced and enlarged while interior work was progressing on the concourse areas. Work on the hotel interior was also just getting underway. By May 2017, the main reception, player areas and the chairman suite had been completed and it seemed as though I was set for my self-imposed completion date of December 31st. However, at the start of June, I decided that I would renovate the build because I wasn't happy with how it looked. This resulted in the demolition and rebuild of the exterior, roof, upper tiers and the hospitality areas above the lower bowl and took until December to complete. The stadium now looked more lifelike and realistic and was set to be completed by April 2018. The North Stand was completed first, followed by the West Stand, Natlofto Stand and finally the South Stand before the Bolton Whites Hotel and thus the stadium as a whole was finished on April 4th 2018. And with that I hope that you have enjoyed the video and I'll be happy to answer any questions and queries. As always, like, share, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.